Hey guys, it's Shimblade 304 here, and thanks to Ninja Whip and a bunch of other sources, we have pictures of the Ninjago Summer 2022 sets, and I'm so excited for them. Thank you to Ninja Master 129 for getting me these pictures. They're not the greatest quality, and I'll do a much better in-depth analysis because I just took screenshots of everything. But this is just my quick thoughts on everything, so let's get into it. Thank you again to everybody who helped with this. Starting with Zane's Golden Dragon Jet, this set looks absolutely phenomenal. I absolutely love the color combination with the white and gold and the light blue color. It looks absolutely incredible. The minifigs in this set look great as well. I'm excited to see the new pieces and how this plays into the season 16 or 15 or whatever, crystallized or whatever it's called. I'm looking super forward to this and I can't wait to get this one. Then we have Kai's Golden Dragon Raider. This one also looks absolutely incredible. This is another one I'm going to be buying on day one. I'm going to be buying all these on day one, so I'm not going to repeat, keep repeating that. But this looks great. I love the color combination again, and the minifigs look absolutely phenomenal. And again, I'm really excited for these sets. Then we have the Temple, or the Crystal King Temple. Again, this looks really cool. I really like how they do like the floating effect, like how it has like those pink pieces. And it's a color that's not really used in Ninjago all that much, so I'm excited for this a little bit because I think it looks really, really good, especially with the dark gray and light gray combina combination with it. I think it looks really good. Then we have Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike. This one also looks really good. It reminds me of um, the lightning, uh, Desert Lightning from Hands of Time Wave. Looks really good. Uh, the Jay minifig looks really cool. I like that little spider thing that's included with this set as well. And uh, for, I think, 20 bucks, this set shouldn't be too bad. Then we have the Crystal King, and this one looks absolutely amazing. We get Harumi, we get Lloyd, we look like we get one of like the Oni masks in like a black color, which I think looks really cool, and two of the Crystal Warriors or whatever they're called, I'm not sure yet, but this looks really cool. Again, the pink, the gray, and the gold combination works really, really well. Now this is a set I'm cautiously optimistic about, Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. If the price point holds true to what it's rumored to be of about $140, I'm not excited for this one, but if it's lower than that, then I'm really excited for it because this looks absolutely amazing, but I'm not interested in paying $140 for it again, but this does look really cool and I can't wait to get my hands on this one. And another one I'm actually kind of excited for, the Ninja Dragon Temple, or I think that's what it's called, looks actually pretty good. I like the little builds in this. I like the dragon with that nice blue color. I think it looks pretty good, and I'm super excited for this one, actually. It's one of the better 4 Plus Ninjago sets we've gotten in recent years, and I cannot wait to get my hands on this. So let me know what you think of all these sets in the comment section down below. Thanks again to Ninja Whip for posting these images, and Ninja Master 1209 for helping me get screenshots.